Hello beautiful people, my name is Toa and welcome back to another video. I'm finally back. It's been two months. I'm sorry. Uh, shit. Well, <laughs> I wanted to thank you guys so much for the support on the twins video. If you're from the twins video, you know, tell me. If you follow the Dead by Daily at Twitter, you would have seen that they announced the skill based matchmaking uh, adjustments. They're going to be running experiments on these days. I'm going to put it up on the screen. But uh, yeah, they're going to be running experiments on these days. And so are we. We're going to hop in uh, on two games of the nurse. We're going to hop on on two games of the nurse every day. I'll probably play more. I'll probably just use the best two games or whatever. Um, we're going to hop into the games as the nurse. We're going to use the same build throughout the whole days. I'm going to not upgrade nurse at all so that we can really test the the valid validity 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 i think that's right so that we can test the validity of these uh experiments so we're going to use the metal spoon bad months keeps getting it's basically nurses calling and uh strider it's extra perks i guess we're gonna always run blood point add-ons i'm not gonna go to any maps in specific um we got our hex plaything, hex pedimento, deadman switch, and scourge hook pain resonance. So basically, how it's gonna work is we're gonna hop in the game with all this stuff exactly the same every day of the experiments. I'm going to play the games. I'm gonna give back my feedback. I'm going to say what I think the experiment is, and then after when they tell us, we'll see how right we were. Well, anyways, guys, that's how it's gonna work. Um, let's go straight into the nurse games, honestly. Alrighty, we're loaded in on the game. So guys, basically today we're just running a, a fuck your gens build. I have pentamento and plaything combo so that we can get that gen slowdown as soon as we can hook some people. I also have the... Here we go, here's someone. This is also the first day of the new skill based matchmaking experiment that they're doing. Okay, yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> um, we also have the... Hex, or not, my bad, the Scourge Hook. Which which one is it? Scourge Hook. I'm blanking right now. But yeah, we have Scourge Hook and the Dead Man Switch as well, which we see over here. There's someone right over here. Damn, yeah, see, these people are just running. <laughs> Bro, I'm kind of kind of confused right now. No way she's right here. Bro. Okay. I kind of feel bad. <laughs> It's, it's, it's the new skill-based matchmaking that they're testing out. I wonder what it is today, because they said that they weren't going to tell us. But I'm just like... There's no way that this can be right. Maybe, maybe they're they're fucking around. They're like, we're going to make the first day like there there is no skill-based matchmaking at all, and we're going to see how you like it. Because honestly, that's what it seems like. Because I usually have a lot harder... Uh, people they're going in spending right. so i think that's what it is honestly because they said on the day by daylight twitter i don't know if you guys seen but they basically said Skill based matchmaking right now isn't working the way that we'd like it to. So we're gonna do different experiments every day this week. So I think today is just they said fuck skill based matchmaking, honestly. Right there. Yeah, I think they just said fuck skill based matchmaking and they're doing whatever the fuck they want. And final girls right over here. Maybe we can tie it correctly. Almost. <laughs> no.
I really just want to end the game right here. Alrighty. Yeah, see... This definitely cannot be... I'm telling them right now, this can't be the new skill by trash making. Because it, 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 like... You know, games where you... You roll completely aren't fun at all. But games where you're also getting, like, shit on and you have to sweat the whole game... I mean, don't get me wrong, sweating some of the game is cool. Like, I'm all down to give uh, a good amount of my effort when playing the game. But... When you have to legit play your hardest all game, every game, I don't fuck with it, you know? I'm not saying that, like, I'm the highest MMR person in the world, but... I'm decent, you know? I'm probably, like, if the max is 1900, I'm probably, like, mid-1600, like, low-1700. But that's just what I'm guessing. And I guess it changes for every killer, so yeah. I I'm probably better at some killers than others, but... This happened, like, the last two or three games i played. It's legit like five minute games all around the board. Cool. Nice. We got some. I'm using all my blood point, my blood point uh, bonuses too. Yeah, you see, like, I I'm having trouble believing that some of these people were even at your descent. Even though your descent doesn't mean like. Uh, it doesn't equal skill, of course, but. <laughs> Alrighty. We are loaded in on Azrael's resting place. Okay, so I scaled up the resolution of my recording, so it should be at 1080 now. 1920 by 1080, I should say. Here we see a person. Should have blinked differently but yeah got a pull oh flashlight not here perfect i'm gonna take over to the skirt trip but yeah basically there we go there's a hook we got the dead man switch value right here dead man switch value over there Oh, right over there. Oh, I fucked up, but I still got the hit. <laughs> I don't know why I blinked twice there. She's still right here? Yeah, she's still here. Perfect. Aww. Ah! <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> you just gotta fuck it up. You have, you have to... Make them think that you're good enough, and then fuck up, and then you get them. That, that's the trick, honestly. The double blink into the rock strategy. Okay, so here's a change. Uh, she was just there. Okay. <laughs> Slightly better. Yeah, yeah slightly better. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to use Pentamental in this game. We are getting some nice Scourge Hook value though. Scourge Hook's all over the map. Um, I can't believe I can't think of the name right now. Yeah, there we go. There's some um, Scourge Hook value. We see the Lori over here, so we're going to go over there and put pressure on her. I need to be able to time my blinks better. I'm learning how to play Nurse currently right now. So I guess it's a Nurse experience as well as skill match backing tech. Skill match backing tech. Oh, there we go. I wonder if she's going to drop that. Whoa. There we go. See, yeah, a player that I normally play against wouldn't do it like that. So... That's why I'm a little bit hesitant to, to call this a true test, I guess. There's a boon totem up there. We'll go snuff it. 
There's a, a plaything totem right there. No one's really cleansing their playthings, but they also haven't gotten the gen done, so I feel like we're in a good position here. Sorry if I sound a little bit congested, because uh, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna... You know, I can keep Shaq Ballad up. I don't really care. We aren't seeing anyone at the moment. That gen was the furthest complete, and it's not complete that far at all, so... So we'll go after the unhooker. Actually. Take a hit. I think she might have given up, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk all the way into Scare Choke. Sounds like this moon's back up. I would guess it's this moon. Actually, maybe they booned one of their playthings. Let's look around. No. No, they didn't. Let's pull up around here. Oh, here we go. Take a hit. I love, I love, you know, like, I've never been really good at this, I guess. But I really like the changes they did to make her feel smoother. Because it really does feel smoother, like a lot smoother. There we go. Yeah, like I was saying, it feels a lot better. I'm actually recording this on the day of the announcement. So, on the same day, there was also announcements for the Ghostface Illusion changes. Honestly, I'm a very, like, uh, stern believer that Ghostface is the worst killer in the game. And they made him a little bit better. Yeah, see, Peanuts is done, so. <laughs> yeah, but they, uh, I'm really, they made Ghostface a little bit better. I don't feel like they addressed, like, his main problem. Okay, yes. I don't think that they addressed his main problem, really, which is that his power is, has way too big of a fucking cooldown. I'm pretty sure it's like 30 seconds. I could be wrong, but yeah. It's a long ass cooldown. I would have liked to see that shortened down to 20 seconds as opposed to 30. But, uh, oh damn, nice shoot. Um, but yeah, aside from that, you know, good ghost face changes. I like the, that the, the mark change that they made. Wow, that, that was just bad on my part. I like the, the changes that they made to the exposed. I feel like it'll be pretty scary when you're playing as Ghostface and you... I think it'll be pretty scary when you're playing as Ghostface and then you can't hear him because you're exposed. Or you really can't see his red stand either. But um, yeah, I think that'll be cool. The lesion changes, however, I was very happy with the lesion changes. I think it's going to be so fucking cool, the the chain difference. If you guys didn't know, they basically made it so that when your chaining hits his legion, um, we, have, we have a fundamental code. Basically, when your chaining hits his legion, um, I'll go over here first. basically, when your chaining hits his legion, every time you get a hit, you increase by not 0.2 meters per second, which may not seem like a lot, but... If it's a if it's an increase every time, it's actually pretty decent. Also, along with that, they made it so they made it so fucking. I'm gonna knock. I'm gonna knock it down. But they also made it so that when Legion is like running around, he's chaining hits. You obviously won't get it every time, but um. They made it so that on the fifth hit of a survivor, it actually downs them, like it takes them to the dying state. So my my real question was, I saw a crow over here, so let's go over here. Gonna wait for any kind of movement. I'm tripping. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's peanuts. Peanuts is done though. Um, we're gonna wait for. I'm sorry. Um. But basically, yeah, on the last hit, it is a downing hit, or it takes them into a dying state, I guess. 
so my question was, if you chain on, I think the lure is over here, yeah. If you chain on three different survivors, as in you just revolve hits on them, will it be like an exposed hit on the last survivor if they're not injured? That's what I was wondering. Which I think would be pretty cool, but you know. I also wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't uh, how that worked. Yeah, overall, I, I was very impressed with the behavior of this patch. I think that the skill-based matchmaking needed to be addressed. I I was never a very big, like, hater of skill-based matchmaking, I guess. But I know a lot of people in the community don't like it. I think it was, you know, I don't think it was the worst thing that they've added to the game. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad that they're addressing it. I'm glad that they're doing experiments. I'm glad that they're not telling the community what's going on because a lot of people in the community would be like, yeah, this isn't enough just because they know what it is and they, just because they want to fuck with the devs. But, um, yeah, overall, I think it's pretty good things, you know. Uh, we're going to be testing every day that the experiment's going on, uh, like I said in the intro. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the intro right now. So guys, as I said in the first game, I feel like today they were really just saying fuck skill based matchmaking. I think that today they're going to see the feedback and they're going to see it wasn't very successful. I think they really just put it back to how it was originally, maybe even like less based on uh, rank than it was originally. I just feel like I was getting really easy uh, opponents, not to diss on any of the people involved in this video. I feel like I was getting really easy op opponents for my skill level. Um, I know I was using Nurse, but I'm honestly not very good at Nurse, so I don't think that's it. Um, yeah, that's my prediction. Honestly, no skill based matchmaking involved, just throw it into the game, check the stats. Well guys, that was the video, uh, day one of our skill based matchmaking experiment. Uh, if you enjoyed, you know, like the video, it helps a lot. Subscribe if you want, I'd love to see you guys back. New video comes out tomorrow, if this goes on on the right day, which I think it will. But uh, Yeah guys, I will see you guys next time, bye.